beam design uh, in this video I'm going to talk about a steel beam design um, steel beams are typically um, the shape uh, is used is a white flange beam uh, like this so that's the typical uh, steel beam now in beam design we um, we check three uh, different things in in design uh, number one is the bending stress which is uh, m by s we have seen before and then the uh, deflection uh, uh, the deflection deflection is e calculated in three ways it can be calculated using equation can be calculated using area moment method for a complex loading situation and then it can be uh, calculated by moment by parts which is um, also an area moment uh, but a little bit different when the loading is complex and asymmetric so complex and asymmetric and this one is just complex does not match with any uh, situation in the appendix and this equation can be found in the appendix and then the final thing we check is the uh, shear stress so the way we think will it fail because of the bending stress will it fail because of its too much deflection we don't allow deflection over certain maybe some specific situation we don't allow too much deflection will even though within the bending stress we may see that is going over the uh, required deflection and then we uh, check the shear stress is the beam gonna fail due to shear stress now these uh, formulas are a little bit simplified in beam design uh, for example the deflection typically we don't really use a complex loading situation uh, most of the situation in real life they can be simplified to a, a simple situation and can be used equations so primarily uh, in these uh, topics in beam design we'll be using only the equation to calculate the deflection so uh, step number two deflection can easily be calculated um, deflection is calculated by the equation method uh, there will be no complex loading uh, there is but not not in the uh, exam complex loading situation so just the equation is used to calculate uh, the deflection uh, by the equation method sorry about that equation method so that's easy and then the shear stress talking and writing it's not good uh, shear stress can be calculated um, we know that the shear stress formula is f equals uh, vq by ib uh, however uh, this formula is a little bit complicated to use uh, so instead we use the average web share so we don't use this one we use the average uh, web share formula or web, web share formula which is uh, uh, if B is equal to uh, the let me check the equation it is V shear stress divided by DTW basically force by area that's how the um, and this should be not VB it is V V as in Vox Wacken like that so that we use average share, share of stress formula now there are a little bit modification of um, this bending stress and uh, shear stress calculation uh, let me show you that so the way uh, the shear stress formula is modified remember in this uh, um, video we're trying to uh, learn how to design beam so the bending stress formula was m by s so what we are trying to do here is to uh, choose a beam that fits our application so we need to see how strong uh, 
um, beam we need uh, what is the uh, section modulus how big of a beam we need for our loading application and this moment comes from the um, the loading situations that we have uh, and then this FV that is the maximum allowable so FV was if you remember that is basically FB max or the maximum we allow so FB max allowable now you know that the allowable typically uh, we, we use uh, yield or ultimate to calculate allowable in beam design a factor of safety 1.67 is used uh, so when the uh, yield strength is used so if we replace that in this equation we find that s equals m by fy by 1.67 now uh, because we are thinking that beam will go all the way to the yield point so instead of s this is the section modulus there is something else called uh, plastic section modulus plastic section modulus which is expressed by z as in zebra uh, and then that is so this 1.67 go on top so 1.67 m by fy the yield strength so to start with is step number one in beam design so that is the step number one we first choose a beam um, based on our loading condition and then in step number two we check the deflection so in step number two uh, check deflection check deflection and just use equation to calculate the uh, use equation in appendix to calculate the deflection calculate the deflection and the allowable deflection will be given in the problem so you can verify whether you are uh, going over that limit or not the final thing step number three Step number three, I think I'll use another page instead. Let me go to the other. Step number three is the check share, uh, checking for share stress. So step number three in beam design, uh, check share. Is it going to fail because of the share stress? Now, in this case, average wave share, the formula is used instead of the um, theoretical one. So the average wave share formula, average wave share stress is calculated by FV as in Voxhagen. Um, this is F. And then V share stress divided by dtw so we can solve for v share is share force and that would be then fv dtw same thing we can use replace this with the um, uh, yield strength using a factor of safety so fy by 1.67 which is used for beam design now if you remember this average wave share only accounts for 85 to 90 percent of the total share stress of the total share stress sorry about that share stress therefore we need to have another factor of safety so another factor of safety 1.5 uh, factor of safety is used to account that so basically is equal to fy dtw 1.67 times another 1.5 if you calculate just all of this it's going to be 0.4 fy dtw 
So this is the maximum that the beam we have choose can carry shear stress. So the maximum, this is the maximum or uh, allowable uh, share load, share force, the beam can carry the beam we have chosen. Uh, so the beam we have chosen, we can find the depth for that and then TW for that and FY. Typically beams are designed high strength steel, so you can use that FY value for that um, and then calculate the shear stress. So that's the max the um, beam can um, carry and maximum shear force beam can carry. And then you can compare that with the uh, whatever share maximum share we calculate uh, you can compare that is it going over this limit so let's see it about beam design check uh, first start with the bending stress and then uh, uh, check the deflection and check the shear stress um, 